Danny Dyer's ex-boyfriend will start paying back the £55,000 he owes from an OAP scam in Bling, a court heard today. Shamed stockbroker Sam Kimmons, 25, has agreed to hand over a hoard of expensive designer gear after he was jailed for swindling two pensioners out of £34,000. Two Louis Vuitton monochrome bags and a £699 personalized number plate are among the items he will use to pay off the first £5,000 he owes. A judge also ordered the scammer to hand over jewelry and designer trainers and clothing, with three pairs of valuable trainers making up the vast bulk of the sum. Kemen stooped Peter Martin, 91, and Peter Haynes, 81, by persuading the vulnerable pensioners to let him invest their money for them and then splashed out on expensive restaurants, hotels and clothes. He will now have to pay Mr. Martin £3,926, which will go to his estate as he has passed away, and Mr. Hayne £1,173 within the next three months. The rest will be paid as soon as he earns money once he is released from prison. Portsmouth Crown Court today heard the total figure. £54,859.22, amounted to how much Kimmons had made from conning the two men. The sum was split into three parts, £35,896.46 for the five charges, £13,863.26 of cash deposited in his Lloyds and Santander account and £5,099 of assets in his house. Prosecutor Mike Mason told the hearing, it is made up of a personalized number plate, worth £699, and jewelry and clothing, making it up to £5,099. Clements stood motionless in the dock, only speaking to say his name, wearing a mask and a navy blue jumper and dark tracksuit bottoms. Do his time. It means reality star Danny, 25, will not have to suffer the indignity of specialist police offices visiting her home to perform an audit of Kimmons' assets, including clothes and jewelry. He was ordered to hand over three pairs of designer trainers, costing a total of £2,150. They were a pair of the Orb 22 sneakers costing £825, a pair of Louis Vuitton monogram runners costing £725, and Nike Jordan black cat shoes costing £600. His number plate, which cost £699, read KM11 Sam and he also had to hand over his Louis Vuitton monogram hoodie which cost £1,250 and a £1,000 Kurt Ye love ring. The courts have the power to seize assets from a criminal's home to recompense victims and if a judge believes an accused person has hidden money or goods then they can be ordered to spend extra time in jail. A source said, as soon as his wrongdoing was exposed, he vowed to repay the money and he's relieved that he's been able to do that. Now he just wants to get his head down and do his time behind bars. Danny, who gave birth to their son Santiago last year, dumped her boyfriend after becoming aware of the full details of his crimes. Clements was jailed for 42 months by a judge at Portsmouth Crown Court for conning two pensioners. Awful human being. He sobbed and called himself an awful human being as a judge sentenced him last month. The con man posed as a financial investor to defraud two vulnerable victims out of their hard-earned cash. He persuaded Peter Marin and Peter Haynes to allow him to invest their money for them. Mr. Martin, who lived in Havant, 
Hans, sadly died in November last year aged 91 while Mr. Haynes suffers from Alzheimer's. His victims were clients at legitimate investment company Equine Global Sports Limited, where Kim Ince worked as a senior trader. The company received money from customers which it would use to place bets on horse races, on their behalf. But Portsmouth Crown Court heard Kim Ince took the clients on when the business went into liquidation, falsely claiming he was authorized to provide financial services. One victim was left living on the breadline after the dodgy dealer splashed the cash in nightclubs and on a personalized number plate for his Mercedes. Clements was regularly seen on social media enjoying plush holidays in Ibiza and expensive days out. After welcoming Santiago, the couple most recently moved into a £725,000 Essex home in March, showing off pictures of the plush property online. He pleaded guilty to five counts of fraud, totaling £33,919, after first appearing in court over the offences in February 2020. Full Support Before Danny went into the Love Island villa, she and Kimmins had a relationship that ended in a series of rows. Once she left the villa and her romance with Jack Fincham came to an end, they got back together. On April 23, 2019, The Sun exclusively revealed the pair had rekindled their romance after being spotted embracing in public. Danny's Hardman dad, Danny Dyer, is said to be relieved that his daughter dumped Kimmins. Danny previously stood by her man after he convinced her that his crimes were not that serious. But she has since made the brave decision to go it alone as a single mum, and her family are fully supporting her. She recently jetted off on holiday with her family, and thanked them for being so supportive as she opened up about being a single mum. A source told OK, Dana's dad Danny and her whole family are relieved she's walked away. They think this is for the best. They've told her she'll never be alone as a single mum as they'll always help her to raise Santiago, 